So guys, we told you we'd bring you this. This is a 50 round drum mag from F5 Manufacturing. Uh, we were waiting for this for quite a while. Uh, super, super nice mag. Uh, let's see how it runs. We've got some Seller and Beloit uh, 124 grain brass cased ammo in here. Really nice ammo. Uh, once you get used to loading this thing, it loads up pretty simple. And this is our first run. We'll see how it runs. Seems to be running super, super well. Uh, yeah, I think we found a keeper. We've been testing it, probably put, oh, I don't know, two, three hundred rounds in it so far, and it's running flawlessly. Uh, a few other things too, you'd probably know we've been running manicores, we've been running mag pulls, we've been running the stock mags. So we talked about these mag couplers. They are made by CZ USA and they're simple to use. They work great. They're solid. They hold two full mags together magnificently and uh, haven't had an issue with them. Cheap too. I think, uh, I think they come in pairs of two for like 15 bucks. Uh, they've been working out great. So we'll show you how they work here. Just. Uh, Shoot a little steel here until uh, we run out for a mag change. Work pretty slick, guys. Uh, pretty quick mag change. I'm liking them. As you can see, this thing uh, is just terror on steel. It is just fabulous. It stays on target, very little recoil, and you can just pound away. Uh, so much, so much fun. This gun just gets better and better. Had some issues at first with the manicores, had some stuff with the mag pulls going on. Manicores seem to have worked their, themselves in. Uh, they are running flawless on steel and brass. Uh, the mag pulls seem to be doing okay, but that was after a complete and thorough cleaning of the gun. I can't say that perhaps it was just the mags, maybe it was the gun. When I actually took this bolt apart, this thing was filthy, filthy, filthy. The extractor, everything. There was just so much crud in there. I have to believe that that added something to it and maybe some of that weird extraction we were seeing. But uh, cleaned it, it's running great. This F5 looks so good and uh, we're having fun. We'll bring you a little shooting here, some range footage, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about this mag a little bit. Check it out.
thing just looks cool too, doesn't it guys? Look at this. Really uh, not all that wide. Doesn't take up that much uh, width. Not much more than your fist. And uh, looks super cool hanging there. It does have a little weight to it, but it's so centered that it really balances out the gun well. So guys, ever since I saw this mag, I said, I gotta have one of these. It was just the finishing touch to our CZ Scorpion, the cherry underneath the cake, so to speak. Uh, we've run it pretty hard today and it's worked flawlessly. Let's talk a little bit about what goes into the making of these mags. So the whole thing is billet aluminum. This isn't a plastic mag. It isn't a polymer, uh, super light aluminum. It has this huge um, uh, winding wheel on it, really nicely machined, finished in black. The knurling on it is really nicely done. See if we can show you that, you see that? Really nice, and they've done a nice engraving job, F5 on the back there, and uh, Cerakote with the Coyote tan that matches our FDE uh, Scorpion just really, really well. Works very similar to any other drum mag in that it has uh, some dummy round links in there. Let's see if we can, when we wind it, you see how they go down? So that's what you do guys, basically you wind it, you take some pressure off, you drop some rounds and they slide right in. Careful though, if you go too far down, uh, too close to the neck and you're dropping bullets in, they can drop down and kind of uh, end up in the bottom of the mag. It was easy enough to get out of there, not a big deal. Um, I did have to unload the mag to do it. We had, were probably 20 rounds into loading a full mag. That being said, it's a 50 round mag and uh, yeah it's just cycling super well it feeds really well feeds on an open bolt or, or i should say uh, you're able to insert it on an open bolt and on a closed bolt the lips are solid aluminum not gonna go bad on you wear out drop it i don't think anything would happen i'm not about to drop a uh, this mag. I don't want to ruin the Cerakote one and two. Uh, they're fairly expensive. They're normally about $168. Recently I saw a sale for $99. I uh, got an email about it. Give them this. It is a phenomenal product. It just does its job, does it well. It's beautiful, beautifully made and seems to be uh, like it'll be super reliable down the road and kind of bulletproof. The only problem with this whole setup is that you burn through ammo like nobody's business. You better bring a thousand round case with you to the range and you could burn it in short order. It's easy to put 500 rounds through this thing in under an hour, like nothing. Uh, it's that much fun. So guys, once again, thanks for joining us here at Rockford Ordnance. We had a blast today. Um, glad to bring you this F5 manufacturing drum mag for the CZ Scorpion. We got a lot more cool videos coming at you. Stay tuned for our finished uh, 308 AR-10 build. And check out our Instagram, check out our Facebook. Hey. Click the subscribe button down there. We're about to hit a thousand subscribers. Unbelievable. I thank each and every one of you. Uh, make sure you like the video, share it. All of this is because of you. Thank you so, so much. And as always, Rockford Ordnance out.